gave the crowd rocking on it. Did you? What's the start in that one? Oh, yeah. The most inevitable chant ever.
In substitution in place number 29, Ian Matson is five to the say is football is a cruel sport isn't it I mean we've absolutely battered Burnley then to be honest with you from minute one to the final minute uh, till the final whistle being blown we were the better team and I think even the most staunch of Burnley fans could admit that to be honest with you but the difference is a good side will play badly like that and we'll win. And 
they have that quality up front which we just don't possess. Um, ultimately, I think we'll look at back at this season if we do miss out on the playoffs, which after tonight's result is obviously a real possibility now. This was obviously our game in hand and obviously slipping out the playoffs meant really we had to at least try and get a point from today. Um, and we deserved all three. There's no doubt about it, but I think ultimately after this result, we probably will miss out now. Um, but mind you, if we play like that against Millwall and Luton, we will beat them. But you, you just can't see it happening, unfortunately. Obviously, you know, Burnley at home is a different a different game completely. You know, it's the, the fans were electric tonight. Everyone stood up in the stadium from first minute to the last minute, got behind the boys the entire game, even after conceding, behind the boys, cheering them on. Um, and just really proud tonight. Uh, so proud of such a young team. A lot of those players, you know, Carter, Adam Wharton, uh, Tyree Stolen such young lads and they've gone out there against a Premier League side and they've made them look amateur. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, it's just a bit of quality up front. My mate said to me, who's uh, who I work with, you know, who's your left back sort of thing? Is he fast? Is he this, that and the other? I said, no, he's, he's not really fast, Harry Pickering. And he, he literally told me what would happen. And it happened. Um, I think he wrote it into existence. Benson cuts in onto his left, like my, my colleague said he would. And Pickering just isn't fast enough to kind of react to it. And it's an absolute worldie. Um, a goal worthy of winning. And I'll, I'll land Classico, I suppose. Um, but a goal, a goal that I don't think Burnley fans would even say they deserved. Um you know, we didn't create an abundance of chances tonight ourselves. We never really do. But we were high pressure. We were gung-ho. And, you know, I think man for man, we were just the better team. The amount of yellow cards Burnley got because every single transition, every single counter-attack, they were having to bring our man down who was on the ball because it, it was looking like... I mean, that that is our main threat, really, all, um, in a Rovers team. You know, we're not brilliant with the ball at our feet. It's the transition. Look at Sheffield United at home. That goal is an absolute masterpiece, and it's from a transition on from a, an opposition's corner. And how many times tonight did Burnley fans just drag a man down, take the yellow card, and it's just... It's good game management from them. They, they've saw the game out, and conducted themselves professionally in that manner, I suppose, to keep all 11 men on the pitch when so many of them were on yellows for so long. Um, you know, ultimately, I think, like I was saying, we will look back at this season and kick ourselves for... We didn't get a striker in January because I, I think that has been the difference, unfortunately. I think it will be the difference between us and playoffs this season. You know, we... Sam Gallagher's injured, not the most prolific of goal scorers anyway, but we just looked a bit toothless really down the middle. Obviously Dolan worked his socks off as he always does, but he's he's only gonna get, you know, five, six goals a season. Dak comes on and Leonard comes on and just nothing really happened for us unfortunately in terms of shot creations and whatnot. Um but yeah, last minute of the game. Corner comes in and then I think it's Callum Britton has a shot and of course Ashley Barnes is there with his arm stuck out and uh, blocks a shot that could have quite easily gone in with his arm. Um, definite handball from the scene uh, from the picture I've seen and it just had to be him I suppose didn't it? Um, yeah, it just Ashley Barnes written all over but. You know, even if the ref or the linesman has seen it, I wouldn't expect either of them to have the, the cojones to actually blow their whistle and make such a monumental decision in such a big game that would have, obviously if we'd have leveled things up, would have cost Burnley the title. 
and been a massive point for us towards the playoffs. Would have seen us get into sixth place, I believe. Um, but yeah, absolutely sickening again. Uh, that's three sickening results in a row. And uh, you just have to hope the boys pick themselves up now. They've got six days to uh, prepare for Luton after we've just played three games in six days. Um, a huge game against a bogey team really of ours but like I said if we come out and we play like that against Luton a side who aren't as good as uh, Burnley a side who should be on the beach you know all they're playing for is the chance of playing sixth instead of fifth um, there's absolutely no reason we can't turn them over and you know we need to find our home form again because it has been shocking as of late um, do that and it's all to play for I suppose going to Millwall um, I hope we can obviously take it down to the last game I think this season is worthy of that I think the boys deserve that um, and even if it does end in heartbreak at least you know it can go down to the final game we've still got something to play in that final game against Millwall but yeah um, fair play to Burnley I suppose you know obviously they've done the double um, like I said, they haven't deserved the win tonight at all, but I can respect that a bit of quality has separated the two sides tonight and they've took their own the chance of the game. They've put it away in, in some style. Um, yeah, and, you know, I just, I, I just if, if this season obviously isn't going to end in the playoffs and whatnot, which it is looking like, I, I do look forward to next season in the championship with the likes of Adam Wharton in midfield. I mean, I need to mention him. Absolutely ran the show tonight against a team of Premier League players. He ran rings around him. And I think every Burnley fan would tell you that. They couldn't deal with him at all. They kept having to bring him down. The amount of times he got fouled. He's playing out of his skin and just playing with such confidence. And he will be some player. Absolutely, no doubt about it. Um, on a five-year deal for us, Palace are linked with him. You know, I'd be asking for at least 20, 25 million, but I would not want him going this summer, that's for sure. But, you know, our hands may be tied behind our backs in that regard, but he should be starting week in, week out if we can keep hold of him next year. And he will be a huge instrumental part towards us fighting for playoffs and promotion next year if, if we are to do so, um, just ran the show, just every single pass is the right pass, so calm under pressure when he's got people twice the size of him breathing down his neck, putting pressure on him and just makes it look easy. Um, what a player and uh, he will be brilliant next year and you know, obviously Ash Phillips as well uh, just won his award at the EFL ceremony. Not sure whether he'll be getting much game time because Hireman Carter have both been solid Shame tonight, really, with Carter that it was his mistake that led to the goal. But you know, I struggle to kind of blame him for that. To be honest, obviously, it is silly. He's a bit naive. He's a young lad, but we want our players to be brave on the ball. We want them to bring it forward, and that's exactly what he did. And he's been caught out, unfortunately. Um, and I mean, it's it's a wonder strike at the end of the day, and you know, the, the Pickering may have been able to do a bit better. Just doesn't really have the legs does he um but yeah on to Luton uh win that and let's just go into Millwall hoping we can still get a playoff spot um but I feel like obviously if we we lose against Luton it will be curtains for this season now um but yeah so proud tonight brilliant performance day and night really between tonight and uh away at Turd uh, the boys can hold their heads high and know that they left everything on the pitch tonight just a difference in quality a difference in a lack of goal scorer really in this team right now um, and yeah it is a shame but we probably will be looking back thinking if it was only got a striker in January got an undive got a got a Gale Hart, got someone just someone who could give us 10 goals from January to end of season or even O'Brien could have made that difference, uh, not necessarily tonight, because I, I think the midfield was solid tonight, but, you know, in your games, 
in your games, uh, other games in the season, you know, obviously where Buckley and Morton have been playing where neither of them were looking brilliant at the time. Could O'Brien have come in and gained us a point or two extra, maybe three, four, which uh, could make the, could prove to be the difference in us making playoffs or not, and I'm sure it will only be a few points at most. Um, but yeah, on to Luton. Play like that. And we can beat Luton and Millwall, no doubt about it. Um, so let's pull ourselves back up. We can't go the rest of the season now without getting a win, surely. We're due one desperately and our performances merit one. Um, if we just just have to win these last two essentially now, don't we? Um, do or die for Rovers, so let's just go for it. No more five at the back crap. Just go for it, leave everything on the pitch and... Fans can't ask for much more.